Hey guys, Ermine Gaming's here, bringing you something completely different on that I usually do on my channel. Today I will be painting my Alpha Black, um, Tipman Alpha Black paintball marker. Um, basically, my first time doing it. I've watched a couple videos on it, uh, researched on it, and asked friends at paintball that I know wh uh, what I should do. So the first thing I did was, see, you, you might not be able to see it, but there is scratch marks on my marker. It's because I just sanded it a little bit down with the paint because um, I, I know that if you don't sand your gun, the paint won't it'll start to crack. And if you sand it, because since mine's already got like sort of a camo on it, because mine is the tactical, tactical edition, uh, you don't want the paint on there, so you scratch it a little bit, just enough to give it a little scuff. Um, basically, the inside, I couldn't find any blue tape. I don't, we didn't have any, so I just took electrical tape and covered up all the holes that are in the marker. So when you're spray spray painting your marker, you won't get paint going into your um, into the inside of your marker. Um, basically, I will be painting the front and the back side of the marker, and then I will be also painting my uh, barrel shroud that is in the front. I believe that's what it's called. I could be wrong. Barrel shroud, and then you have your bipod e grip. I'll be painting that too, and my stock. Um, basically, the design I'll be doing on it is a um, tiger stripe camo kind of thing. Um, I will show you which kind of paint I will be using in just a second. Okay, so the paint I am using is Krylon Camouflage. Um, basically, you can get this paint, spray paint, anywhere. Got mine at Canadian Tire. I'm sure you can get it at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, anywhere else at any basic place that sells spray paint. Uh, I've got, this color is olive. You can't probably see it, but anyways, it's olive. And then I got another one, Kahaki or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, this is the color right here. So these colors are all flat base colors because um, they, they're not shiny. You don't want shiny on your gun. You want just the flat color or because the shiny won't stick and it'll start to chip after a while. But yeah, this one is called Krylon Fusion. Well, it's made with fusion eyes, you can see right here. But this paint is made for camouflage on your, like, see, so you got a little bow and arrow kind of thing here. Uh, you got, like, a little cooler there. You got, I don't know what that is. I don't hunt. But it's made for rifles and all that. So I got that color, and the last color I've got playing old brown, which is this color right here. Um, but basically, look, I'm going to be starting with this color right here because this is my darker color out of the bunch, and you always want to start with a dark color before when you start painting anything. Because once you have your dark color, the light colors tend to pop out. And a lot of people just say that you should use your dark colors first out of your light colors so i will be right back and we will start painting the gun and the the grip the barrel shroud and the stock i'll be back okay i'm back um basically i'm going to start with the back side of my paintball marker shell um i forgot to say in the video well little part before that when you're doing it you want to do like a sweeping motion once when you're painting so up like maybe up across kind of like sweep you don't want to go like all right on it that'll screw up your marker um you want to go just like this lightly and also the paint won't stick if you're going to do it like that um basically um next part of the video after i'm done spray painting all of these is me going to be doing the tiger stripe because you got to let the the paint sit for an hour on your gun because it's always good to let your paint sit and you you can't you don't want to work with it right right away so yeah basically this video this part of the little video is going to be spray painting it and then the second part of it 
is going to be doing the design on it. So uh, let's get started here. So, but basically with the, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention, but basically when you're doing the, um, the paint with the, the design, you want a stencil and you want a tiger stripe. So once you see the, um, see the part of me using the stencil for the design, then I will, I will start talking more about it. So, but basically let's get started with the basic back. You should always um, want to um, shake your container before doing it because if you don't shake it, your spray paint won't last as long. I gotta flip this up here because of the inside right here. There you go, got that, I'll just Hopefully that didn't get any on the camera, which I did not, thankfully. I just want to there. All right. So next little part will be me doing the other side. All right, guys, back for the second part. Um, now I'm just going to do the front side of the marker. So yeah, see this one part's really metal because that's before I knew that you just had to scrape it just a little bit for the paint. Um, but yeah, basically that's from me just sanding it off. But yeah. But yeah, um, I also forgot to mention the other quick little thing that um, I have to be doing two coats of the paint because it won't really work out as well. I should have mentioned that earlier, but I completely didn't think of it. But yeah, I'm going to be doing two coats and then I will be doing the um, design. I'll probably put the design in the second video. So yeah, let's just get this one finished here. When you're doing your marker, you want to also make sure you get inside of your trigger and all that. I kind of, on the other one, I was looking back over it and I kind of missed some spots. I, I am doing this in my shed, so there's not a lot of lighting, so I can't really see where I'm missing. But just as a little tell, just try not to forget that part or... Well, you can always get it in the, sec in the second coat, but you always just want to make sure that you have it usually on the first one. Hold on here. There, that part's done. But yeah, here, so just want to quickly go back over the parts you've touched. Um, when you're doing it, you will get paint inside your marker just a little bit don't be worried about it you can always just wipe it off after once it's not dry you can always just sand it in in the inside just because you don't really want paint inside of there or it could mess up the marker 
but yeah it's not too big of a deal but um i will be back quite sh shortly to do the other stuff okay guys just to make this part go a little quicker i'm going to do both the shrouds at the same time basically same thing as the marker you just want to go sweep motion so yeah i'll just quickly do this Almost done this one here. Pretty sure I got that part. Just want to make sure, don't want to screw that up. But yeah, got that one, so time for this one here. Um, basically when you're doing this, it really takes a, a quite your day because you got to let a lot of the stuff dry and all that. So, um, if it, don't take, don't rush this. You will want to take your time. You don't want to muck it up or screw it up or whatever. Um, you really want to take it nice and take a lot of time to do it because I know a lot of you people don't want to frig up your marker. You want to make it look nice when you are playing with other people. You don't want to screw it up. So basically, yeah, just be careful when you're doing your gun. And don't forget second coats and all that. Because you do not want to mess it up at all. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, now I'm going to be doing the stock of your marker. Uh, so basically, same thing, sweep, thing motion. This is gonna look, I was looking at all the colors and what they look like when you spray them out. Um, I really like these colors, it's gonna look really nice, kinda camo-y. It's gonna look nice once I also put the red tiger, or not red tiger, sorry, the tiger stripes. It's gonna look really nice. I highly recommend the colors I'm using because they are pretty cool for camouflage uh, and I highly recommend the the colors basically that's all I could really say um, this one I'm gonna have to be doing a longer one because there's two sides to the shroud or to the stock so I'll be right back for the grip and then later on once that's dry I will do the other side Okay guys, now the last part to this first video, I will probably be doing two, maybe one, uh, two to three videos in a part for the, uh, for part, like part one, part two kind of thing. But yeah, it all depends. But basically I'm gonna do the grip now. Same thing, sweet motion. That looks pretty good. I'm surprised how actually good that came out because the color of it is black and black and brown are kind of the darker colors of the bunch, but still turned out pretty good. So stay tuned to the part two of my tutorial on how to paint your paintball gun. Um, uh, yeah, so basically if you liked it please like the video subscribe and comment uh I, if you guys comment i could easily help you guys out and tell you what you're doing wrong or basically just help you if you messed up so yeah this has been uh my new kind of little video of for my channel so see you on part two